It seems like every day someone new is quitting YouTube and this is not one of these trendy videos. I'm not trying to jump on that wave, but I did want to explain why I was gone from the platform from June 2023 to just now, January 2024. So that's a six month period where suddenly I was just gone and essentially because like I wasn't even looking at my comments, I essentially did quit the platform and it was not intentional. So I just want to tell you a bit of that reason why and hope you understand and then just really kind of what I plan on do going forward um, to support this channel because I miss this. You know, it's not every day you get to start a video and say, hey, my name is Steve Coleman and Welcome to the channel. I'm a dividend stock investor and I put $150. No, actually now I put $200 into my tax-free savings account to grow some investment income so I can just retire um, happily and just, you know, spoil myself and my kids, my wife, and all guilt-free because I put the time and effort in now to kind of build that equity and just build that growth, build that growth, take advantage of that growth of um, the stocks just growing over the long term. What the heck happened to you, Steve? Where were you for six months in 2023, the last half of 2023? Uh, well, a lot of different things uh, unfortunately happened to me. Not completely all at once, but a bit of it in a sequence. Um, starting with just uh, there was a um, health emergency in the family that just uh, requires and it still does require um, more time and energy, uh, but it kind of really got to a fever pitch in the uh, beginning of July um, and coming downstairs to record a video was just very, very low on the priority list. Um, and just when we were kind of getting that under control, I decided to go away for two weeks on vacation, which was amazing. Uh, if you have ever been or if you have not been to Newfoundland you need to go check this place out if you love the outdoors um, they've got it all it, uh, amazing amazing I'll show a montage here pic pictures and uh, some video clips of just what we were doing there from visiting St. John's the capital city to driving all the way across to um, Grossmore National Park and climbing a mountain um, that was pretty cool to say that, you know, we, my family and I climbed a mountain. That happened for two weeks, so I was unplugged. I was not doing anything digitally or just, I wasn't thinking about investing. I was still investing every week, you know, putting the money in and picking the stocks, picking which ones I wanted to um, grow and just which ones were gonna grow best for me. But um, yeah, I was not making videos. So, and then after vacation, because I was gone for two weeks, I, dedicated myself to going into the office more. So that like three days out of the week, I was in the office leaving two mornings to record videos potentially. But one of those mornings I dedicated towards making sure I'm helping with uh, the chores in the house to kind of make sure that's all taken care of. So the family and I had more time on the weekend to do something. So that really then leaves like one day and it, you can't do it all in one day. And then our evenings sometimes are busy. So it became very easy for me to not record any videos. So I apologize for that, that basically I easily let it kind of slide into nothing. Uh, I s watched some content, but I really kind of did cut back, picked up a few more books, um, some, some about investing, some about, you know, starting to actually get into some fiction as well. Um, if you got any recommendations, I like sci-fi, um, leave that in the comments below. And so basically I, I was, I was reading instead of, uh, recording videos and, um, yeah, investing it, well, again, was still part of, uh, my every week, every week, you know, putting that $150 that last year and then now $200 this year, that's always part of um, the process, but I was not talking about it. And that's what I feel bad about because. Uh, not all of 2023 was great from an investing perspective. Uh, I know a lot of my positions dropped down. Um, I think at one point, maybe just one, I think it was Pizza Pizza was the only stock that I held that was in the green. I imagine a lot of you were in the same case and it's reassuring when you, you, know, you have someone sharing kind of what's happening to them and you see yourself reflected back in that 
you know, you don't, I'm hoping you don't, you're not feeling as bad as like, you know, hey, if it's happening to Steve, it's happening to so-and-so, um, it's, and it's happening to me. Okay, this seems kind of normal. This is what is actually happening right now. So I don't need to panic because these people are telling me that they're not panicked and they're being very transparent and open. But, you know, obviously look at this video. I'm being very open about what's going on in my life, what's going on in my investings to again, help other understand um, what might be explaining what's happening to them as well. So I was not there for that. And again, I am sorry for that because uh, these creating these videos is is fun. It's a lot of it's a lot of work, but it's it's a lot of um, it's enjoyable work. I, I love trying to make them keep improving them um, from a quality perspective, from the content perspective, what, all of it. I really I missed it, so I enjoy this. We're going. We're we're, we're back. We're gonna make keep making videos, sharing um, a little more concise. Just kind of like you know what have I done? What is this doing? And you know, I'm going to take my cue from the comment section. So like, you know, tell me what, what's going on with you and like, how can I kind of, uh, help you if I can, you know, even just through my experience and what I'm doing, explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing, um, and feeling perfectly comfortable and confident in, the, in my investing choices. Um, that's valuable information, I think, you know, so that's why I'm very, very thankful that you are watching, you're here. Um, and if, if you're new, you know, hey, give it a like, subscribe. Uh, this is not the normal type of content. We're gonna go more into the, you know, what we're buying, what we're picking, um, how things are performing, all that kind of good stuff. So stick around for that. And I finally remembered what my catchphrase was. Again, six months gone, never said this, but hey, keep it in the green, everybody. Um, we'll see you in the next video and take care. And thanks for listening. Appreciate it.